Today, we are going to work in, with stories in fact. The data set that we'll be using is Walmart data set. That, could be, that is a public access data set or by the name of Superstore data set that you can easily find on uh, Kaggle. So, starting with our content. In a Tableau, you have three options for to present your visualizations. The first one is a sheet that I have opened over here. In a sheet, we simply construct some graphs. So right now, I'll construct a graph of categories, subcategories, and the amount of sales that they make. I'll transform this into a bar graph. Change the axis for better view. There we go. I'll make one more graph, which will make the demonstration of stories and dashboards easier. Over here, we'll be working with segments and the profit that each segment earns. I'll convert this into a pie chart. And the pie is particularly small right now, so I'll go and change the view to pie of view. This is a good size. I want some labels, so I'll say show mark labels. And I like the size and everything else. So now let's look at a dashboard. This is a dashboard. It's basically used to present multiple uh, sheets at once. So I'll bring sheet one over. Now I don't really like this size, so I'll change it a little. Increase the width. Like this size. Now I'll add a vertical bottom. And I'll drag and drop sheet two. This is a dashboard. All right, now let's look at stories. This is a story. It's basically a way to give a presentation. Here we have a title which we can change. Uh, so I'll say sample story. You can give a caption here. Let's say bar graph. And so we have to simply drag and drop our graph over here. Now, uh, now I want to add another graph to the story. So you click on line, and another uh, another story slide opens up. Give another caption. Let's say pie chart, and drag and drop sheet two over. Now I want another one. So once again, blank. Write in dashboard. Drag and drop the dashboard. All right. So what happens? So we can use this option, drag to add text, drag it anywhere on our storyboard, and give a simple text. So let's say, hmm, let's say, I chart different segments. Of course, this should be mentioned in our chart title, but this is only for demonstration purposes. And you can move it around and put it here. Now you'll see that in an original pie chart, there's a key over here that can't be seen here. This is because the dimensions of the story is shorter than the dashboard, so a lot of content is being cut. So again, we go to the size and we increase the width. Here we go. Move this around, even cover up the title to give a new font. So uh, now we'll go layout, add to layout and explore some options. Oh, if I click on numbers, you'll see that the caption box changes, and changes into numbers. If I click on dots, it changes into dots. If I click on, click on arrows only, then there's nothing else here but the arrows. And if I click on show arrows, uh, they're taken away, so you have to move like this. So uh, that's how you can choose the most appropriate one for you. And there's another option, go over here in format story here you can do a number of things i can change the entire shade of my graph of my story i can change the font of the title that is the sample story i can change the font the color and whatnot i can make it center aligned maybe even increase the size a little i can give it a different shade to highlight it a little I can give it a border. I can change the font of the navigator or change the size of the navigator. I can change the shade for the same. Again, the text objects that we added, we can change the fonts for that too. 
I would like to, I'll say I want it. So now you'll see the shadow of story uh, sheet 2 is gone from behind because I changed the opacity of this and I can again change the color shading in this and put in a border if I want to, a dash border or whatever way I like it to be. And just click cross when I'm done. There's another option here, the uh, show title toggle box. So you can see if your story actually needs a title or not. Finally, uh, finally, we'll see a nice way to present this. You can click here for full screen. And you can use your side arrow keys to move around in your story. And that's all about stories.